friends, Shane from uh, HowToWrench.com. You're probably asking yourself, why am I in a shower? And why the heck are we talking about plumbing here on HowToWrench.com? And there's very good reason. So try and stay tuned. I'm going to give a shout out to a company, I think, that does something that more people could uh, copy this model. And this was, this was truly awesome. So bought this house, rarely use this, um, this particular shower. And when I bought it, it had a broken uh, tub drain here, okay? So you can see where this um, flange is broke off, where the screen uh, threads on to that, if you will. But one of the other things that I noticed when I would use the shower is that this, this whole assembly was all the way up here. And you'd catch your foot on it as you were taking a shower. It's just a little annoying and... It really didn't put much thought into it, honestly. Just thought, you know what, I'll fix that someday. So that someday came around, and here in Sioux City, Iowa, I went multiple places trying to find this flange, and I kept coming across this guy. This is a different brand. The problem we have here is that a whole bunch of these, at least all the local ones, were fine thread, and the one I needed was coarse thread. So... As a mechanic, got up my thread pitch gauge and I knew how to determine what this was so that I could move forward to find the right part. So cool, good old internet. Got my flange in, my flange comes. So when you buy this, it comes like this, assembled and so on. So I, I get the old one out, which was a bugger with this ear being broke off because what you're supposed to do is take a pair of channel locks and be able to grab that and get this off. So it's very difficult and I was really worried about hurting the PVC down below, of course. But I, I know a fair amount about plumbing, so no big deal. Was just gonna tackle this. And I'm really a strong technician, the fact of always saving old parts, looking at old parts, and comparing them to the new parts. So one of the things that I noticed right away when I got the new one, is that the plastic washer, if you will, was below the rubber seal here. And you can see how I took it off. They had this plastic washer above the rubber seal. Now, who's right and who's wrong? You know, that's the question. So it got me kind of investigating a little bit. But then, you know, I had plumber's putty just sitting here waiting. I was all ready to go to get this installed. And on the new one, on this guy, there was this sticky note and this is why i'm giving a huge shout out to these guys at uh, pfg they uh have a link to a youtube video and it says here do not over tighten or use excessive force do not use plumber's putty or oil-based sealers see online instructions and here's the here's a website video and i'll put a link to this video for them down below in the description absolutely awesome they show a cutaway tub drain where they show this whole thing being assembled and Right away, what I find out from their video, and this just makes such sense, is that this gasket is supposed to go down against underneath. It's supposed to be underneath the tub drain. And then you have, so it goes right against your PVC flange, that this, that's glued in underneath the shower, right? So it goes, that's, this is better. This is underneath the, the tub, down here, if you will. And then it goes here and then the rubber okay and then you'd have your your tub floor and then you thread in this flange and they want you to put a real small bead of silicone around this outside edge because they said it stays flexible and they do a good job in the video to tell you why but here's the big thing this design of this is very very well thought out and what they have is they have these channels in here that if for whatever reason water does get by and starts to weep around those uh, threads, it has a way to bypass and then go down and go into the drain. Great freaking idea. Look at the one I took apart. They had these flipped, plus they had it above, plus it was completely full of plumber's putty. You wanna bet that all wedged in there when they were putting it on, one little extra turn broke that off. And I'm going to bet that this cover was never on there from day one. I bet they broke this on installation and eh, whatever. The other thing is, now it makes sense with these gaskets being in the wrong order, why this was so proud and why it sat above the shower drain here. 
So you, you guys hear me talk all the time. You remember the video just a couple weeks ago where I showed the seal being installed backwards and it's a common problem. Do you guys remember the video I just did a couple weeks ago? It was on Suzuki crankshaft where it was real easy to put the oil seal in backwards. I told you this would relate to motorcycle mechanics, I promised. Hit that subscribe button and head over and check out all the playlists. Just going off, hey, I'm a mechanic, I should know this. Man, this example here just reminded me how when we tackle things and we're not a pro or we just jump to conclusions how fast it is that we could do it wrong. Now, in either of those cases, that video I made in this one, you know, somebody's not going to die. But there is a loss of time, a loss of labor, a loss of parts, you know, possible damage to the equipment. There's there's just a better way to do it, right? So sometimes I think there's just a truth in, ah, it's just a lesson learned uh, in these cases. But man, the, the reason I wanted to make this video and the reason I wanted to make this shout out in particular with this plumbing company with uh, PFG, I believe it is, is that they did a fantastic job of problem prevention. And I'm gonna bet you, I'm gonna bet if you talk to that company, I'm gonna bet if we did some research, a little bit of guessing here, is that some broke and there were some problems and one day somebody went, hey, how do we fix this? How do we do this better? How do we prepare these people? Because there's a cost in that sticker. Okay, so I mean, uh, I just, thumbs up. I think anytime you manufacturers, we have a lot of manufacturers that watch this channel as well, can do things that will help people not make those human errors, you can end up with better products, better support. I will look for their plumbing materials now, uh, or plumbing products, if you will, just specifically because of such a positive uh, experience in the fact of the education and preparation of this. So that's just really my tip of the day here is, you know, I'll summarize this to a couple things. Number one, uh, looking into things a little deeper, using your resources, uh, how to not get in trouble by using those skills that you just think you know, and how to, uh, as a manufacturer, how to make your product fantastic with less comebacks, less warranties, and less human error in installations. So make it a great day. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe, uh, share this video, like my work, uh, keep making uh, things great in the world of education and turning wrenches. And as always, keep wrenching. See you next time.